Hi everyone, my name is Skylar Crandall. I'm an illustration and design major, and I hope everybody's having a great end to their semester, I'm all happy and healthy. Um, for my presentation, I mainly wanted to focus on the three things I made for my senior project this year. And I wanted to focus heavily on 2D illustration and design, right? I dabbled a little bit with um, using like Illustrator and stuff, but ultimately I found that I enjoyed using just Procreate and hand-drawn imagery the best. So that's what I ended up sticking with. Um, the three designs that I made were all inspired by different things, mostly personal events and um, my own kind of like imagery and metaphors that I've latched onto, I guess. But what I wanted to do is kind of um, document the process where I went through and created them and made you know, their own like individual blog post pages for my portfolio website while I was making that as well. So for the first, well, I guess for all of them, I did different sketches and ultimately like you can tell between the sketches that I don't really stick to the concept, but my goal is to like have, um, or I do stick to the concept, sorry. My goal is to have a concept that I can keep going and will iterate on throughout like multiple different types of sketches and whatever. So for the first design, what I did is I wanted to um, kind of portray different kinds of um, emotion and like evil, but also um, acceptance and kind of, you know, eagerness to to see friends again and people that, you know, like aren't always good people, I guess. And what I did is uh, kept my inspiration and my imagery recorded on my website where I would you know, explain in my own words what, as best I could, what I was trying to draw and trying to express through the images. Um, I won't go into actually reading them, but that is the kind of personal backstory that I decided to include for each one. Um, so I, what I did is I took it from this initial sketch and a quote from a song. And I just kept building on that more and more till I was able to kind of just listen to music and, and have an idea for what I wanted to come up with. So eventually I, oops, eventually I came to this um, front graphic and the totem characters on the side that I decided to duplicate and make it into a, I guess, architecture. And then I wanted that to go along with the header and the different um, messages that I was trying to express. So like venomous blood and different um, symbolism and warnings. Oh, and I had my website that I would link to as well at the bottom. So this is where I would keep, you know, the full size file. And you can see that it's all hand drawn if you go into it because it's the line works obviously not great. But when it comes to printing, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think it really matters if small little lines show up. So that's what I did. And I included the mockups, the inspiration, the process, and then the different songs. I want to eventually like actually have the lyrics somewhere, but I, I want to hide it too. So it's not like bigger than the actual page itself. And then I also 
included lake sketching. And you can see through my process that I, I kind of just go with whatever and draw what I like until I express it and I'll end up like scrapping an idea multiple times throughout the process until I find something I like. So I just made the totem characters that represent my friends or different things that have happened in my life, I guess. And then just kept working on that, you know, making, eventually I, I got to the point of a peace sign to say goodbye and then the gates of hell, basically. And then it eventually arrived at a rough draft. And I just took that and turned it into this. So that's the first design. The second design was for another um, significant event in my life and to kind of advocate for mental health, but in a different way this time, which was more to to um, use that like dark imagery and impact around it to express a, a, a better message, not not one of um, acceptance and and not giving a damn, but one of getting better and growth. Um, again, it's kind of a personal backstory. I didn't even include the whole thing, but it tells about my um, reasoning for why this was an important design for me to make for kicking off my career. Um, again, it starts with a sketch and a concept, but you can tell it goes pretty quickly in a different direction and only maintains that initial idea by the time I'm done. Um, I wanted to include a message to my friend as well. So that's what I focused on. And this one I did instead of um, Procreate, I did all in Illustrator. And this is why I decided to kind of focus on Procreate because I do like what you can do with Illustrator, but I just enjoy the the tactile, like hands-on aspect of just being able to draw a lot better. So I have the sketches, the milestone, the lyrics that inspired it, and then I eventually got to the front graphic that I wanted to have. And that for both of the first two designs, the front graphic is basically just what's on the back, but without the words in the added context. And then I also have my website page for it, but this one doesn't have, um, it doesn't have any of the uh, video that shows the process because I did it all in Illustrator. But it still has the mockups, has all of my, you know, links everything that I needed. And then my third design, um, if you could tell from the initial sketches, I tried to work with totally different imagery and designs and ended up n just not liking it very much at all. So I stuck with uh, more just sketching and just drawing hands-on. And I guess, um, significant like events in my life and trying to portray things that I'm not really good at like saying in words. So I just went back to Procreate and decided to just sketch. And this time my uh, faculty expert mentioned that I could use uh, imagery and sketches that I had from the past too, that I didn't have to completely start from scratch. And initially I was trying to challenge myself by doing everything fresh and from scratch for the semester. But once I went through a few iterations of my first third design, I decided to go back to the drawing board and use things that I knew. So I did the, I took this from my Inktober, the kind of pressured heart. And I took that idea and just different ideas of like, um, viciousness and painting black and and assigning like evil faces and all these things 
to eventually get to where I was. And here I have um, the actual video. And this time I kept it down to like a three second clip where I could do all that. And I guess I should have just gone to the web page. But the it's just a temporary web page that holds right now just the um the lyrics, the imagery, and the inspiration. And that's the three of my projects that I did this semester for my senior project. And I'm pretty happy with them. And then I think I, yeah, I included um, posts for my Inktober page as well. I don't have all the files for them. I couldn't get everything like put together and make an actual gallery in time. But I wanted to show off kind of just stuff that I like to do hand drawn and like with actual ink and a, like a, a fountain pen. But yeah, thanks for watching my presentation. And I hope all of you have a wonderful graduation and enjoy your careers.